Changing your business address on your Google business profile can be risky. I'm gonna show you in this video how to do it the safest way possible. I'm actually changing the address for my actual business. So follow along, let's get started right now. Okay, before you do anything, there are several places you need to change your business address before you change it on Google. The reason is, is there are so many people trying to trick Google, trying to scam the system and make Google think they have an address in one place rather than another place. The reason they do this is because they wanna rank in a specific city or specific suburb or specific service area. Whether it's legit or whether it's fake, Google wants to see a legitimate address, whether it's a home address, whether it's a business address, whether it's hidden to the public, or whether it's visible, Google wants everything to be legit as possible. And the way they do that, the number one way they do that, is they look at other reputable places online to see what your address is over there, and then they compare it to what their address says or to what you're trying to put into your Google business profile. The number one place you should change your address first, in my opinion, is your secretary of state or whatever public records show your actual business name and your address. In most cases, it's the secretary of state in other countries and certain specific states. It may be called something different, but there is always one place where Google can go and look at your official licensed business name. Typically, it's whatever you have on your official legal paperwork. It can be your LLC, it can be your S Corp, it can be your sole proprietorship, it can be your DBA. Either way, if you have a legal functioning business, especially in the United States, this is going to appear somewhere online. Like I said, the Secretary of State is typically the best place to do this. And if you have a Secretary of State in your state, in the United States, then definitely do this. Let's jump over to the screen real quick. Okay, so I'm in Missoula, Montana. So I'm gonna look for the Secretary of State Montana business search. So on the Montana Secretary of State website, I'm finding this little business search screen. All the websites are different, but every one of them should have some place where you can search for businesses. This is public record that anybody can see, including Google and especially Google in this case. So I'm gonna search for my business, Big West Marketing. And you can see my old Big West Marketing listing uh, is here, that's when it was a sole proprietor, and that is inactive and expired. And then you can see my current one, Big West Marketing Inc. That's when I registered as an S Corp back in 2014. I'm gonna look and see, make sure that the address is fixed there. And you can see the address here. This is my new address. I had made this change. I couldn't really figure out how to do it online. So I just went down to the office in person, asked them how to do it, and they had me fill out a form. Within a week, it had been changed. Okay, so it's different for everybody. You might just be able to do it on the website. You have, might have to make a phone call, email, fill out some forms, submit them. It's different for every state, but guys, you gotta get this done. You gotta get this done so that when you make your change on Google, they can go over there and look at the official legal name for your business and match it up. Now let's jump over to my Facebook business page. That's the next place I'm gonna make this change. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is change my business address on my Facebook business page. So I've logged into my personal account for Facebook because in order to have a page, you first have to have a personal account. So I know I'm in my personal account because I see my little picture up here. On the left-hand side, I can see the different pages that I manage. So I'm going to click over on Big West Marketing Inc. That is my official business page. And I know I'm in the right place because I can see all of these like edit buttons and it just, it doesn't look like the front of the end of the page. It's pretty obvious that I have access and can make changes to the back end. And then I'm gonna scroll down here on the left-hand side and I'm gonna go down to edit page info. Okay, and this is where I can change all the basic information on my Facebook business page. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll down to see the address. There's the address right now. What I wanna do is change it from my old address to my new address. And it says my changes have been saved. So I was successful in changing the location. Facebook makes it very easy to change address information. Let's just make sure that this little map pin shows correctly. And I'm actually right about there. 101 High Park in Whitaker. I am right on the corner there. So now my pin is correct. 
Now it should have saved everything, so let's go out. Now I'm looking at my business page as if I was not logged in and I'm just anybody who has a Facebook account. So I look down here and I can see my address has now changed. That's something Google can see. And I see that my pin is in the correct place. So now I'm good to go with Facebook. Now let's jump over to Yelp Business. That is the next place that I'm gonna make this address change. Now real quick, if you like what you've seen so far, it'd be great if you could subscribe to my channel. I got lots more where this comes from. I have a new video each and every week that shows how to do things with SEO, local SEO, Google My Business, the Google Business Profile, the map section, all that stuff, just for you guys, and it's all free, so subscribe below. And if you have any questions, Ask them in the comments below, I will get back to you. Now, back to the lesson. Okay, so I'm going to change my business address on my Yelp business account. So first thing I do is go to biz.yelp.com. I am going to log into my account. All right, and it's showing my account up here, my business name, Big West Marketing. And what I want to do here is go down to business information and scroll down and on the right hand side you're going to see address. That's where I can change my physical mailing business address. So take out the suite number there and I am going to change this to 101 High Park Way. Everything else should be good to go and then I'm going to save that. And now I can see my new address is established there. Nope, oh, that is right, that is, that is correct. It is showing the right pin location. So we are good to go there. That's how you change your address on Yelp. Like I said, pretty simple, but something you need to do so that Google sees this address and can verify that this is the correct address, not just on Google, but all the important places on the internet. Okay, and finally, a good way to decide what else needs to be changed before you change it on Google is to just do a general search. So I'm over here at google.com. I'm just gonna search for my business, Big West Marketing. You may, if it's a common business name, you may need to put the city or state as well, just to make sure it pulls up all the stuff related to your specific business. Uh, so this is it. my business has a very unique name, so it's probably just going to pull up my stuff. And I want to kind of scroll down and see what Google is ranking uh, in the top five, top ten. Those are the important things that you want to make sure the address is changed on, in addition to Yelp, Facebook, and your business and your Secretary of State. So there's my website. I want to change it on Facebook. That's done. Twitter does not show the address, so I'm not worried about that. Clutch, I looked at that. I didn't see anything that had the address on there, so I'm not worried about that. LinkedIn did have my address, so I went in ahead and changed it on LinkedIn as well. I logged into my LinkedIn account. There was a simple place to change it there. YouTube, let's see, Yelp. We already talked about Yelp. Instagram does not show my address, so I don't need to worry about that. A lot of these are just little directories that have found my information online, and I may not have an account with them, so what'll happen is they'll go look at my website, or they will look at the Secretary of State, or they'll actually look at the Google account and change it later on. And keep in mind, once you change it on these online accounts, it may not show the correct address on the little search results because Google will need to go through, crawl, re-index that, and change it on there. Could take a week or two. Like you'll see, this is my old address here on Yelp, even though I've already changed it on Yelp. Okay, so be patient with this stuff. I recommend you make all these changes and you wait a couple weeks before you change it with Google. Now I also wanna show you that I made the change on my website, the website that I have listed with Google. I know some people have multiple websites, but you have one URL that you have listed with Google. That main one needs to have the address changed if you're looking to make your address visible. You can hide your address from the public with Google or you can make it visible. I choose to make mine visible because I do meet people at my home office. So I'll look down at the bottom here and you will see that I have placed my address there. That's the new address that I am going to register with Google. Now, are we ready to get in and make the change on Google? Now that I've made everything else that's important online and legally, I've changed everything there. Now I can change it with Google. Let's go do it. So I'm gonna go back to Google. I'm gonna make sure that I'm logged in to the Gmail account I opened my Google My Business or my Google profile with originally. Okay, and then I'm just gonna search for my business. 
and I'm gonna have all these editing options appear right here. Like I said, because I'm logged in. This is how you make edits on your Google account in 2023. So I'm gonna click on edit profile. I'm gonna click on location. I'm gonna click on this little pencil icon. Now this is where I'm gonna go in and make the change. And I also wanna point out, this is where you can show or hide your address. I choose to show my business address because I do meet people at my home office, like I said. Now heads up, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know how Google is going to react when I change this address. You never know exactly what's going to happen. Hopefully it'll go through with no problem. They may have to send me a new postcard. I may be able to do an email or text verification, or I may have to do a video verification, or worst case scenario, I'm gonna get suspended and I have to reapply to Google and prove to them that that is my true address, okay? Either way, I've done everything I could to make it as safe as possible, to minimize my risk, but I wanna make sure you understand there is still risk no matter what you do when you change your business address. So let's get, let's get in here and do it. Make sure everything else is correct. The map has put the pin in the correct place. I see that there. I'm gonna click save. Your edit is pending. It usually takes 10 minutes to be reviewed. I'm gonna pause the video right now. We're gonna come back a little bit later and see what happens. Okay, so I waited about 15 minutes. Now I come back. I looked at the front end of my profile and as you can see, my new address has been entered. It is now part of my profile. I didn't have any issues and the main reason is, is because I did all the preliminary work over the last couple weeks to make sure everything online that is important that Google looks at has been changed. So that's it, I hope this is helpful. Now, I have a free offer for you. If you're looking to rank your Google My Business account or your Google Business profile, if you're looking to rank that up when somebody searches for your service or your product, then I have a free gift for you. It's called the Google Business Cheat Sheet. You can click on the description below, download this. It's a one page PDF with a bunch of links to different videos that goes deep into everything you can do, everything that we do for our clients to make sure they rank up on the Google map section and on the organic section. So go down in the description below and download that right now. And if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below. I will get back to you. Once again, I'm Joe Burnich with bigwestacademy.com and I'll see you in the next video.